All right, so I'm working on a project where I'm using half inch copper as my tubing of choice. And this is half inch L type copper. I believe it has a wall thickness of 040. Um, there you can kind of see it's, it's thick, but it's not, it's not super thick. I've heard type K works pretty well for this, but uh, I chose type L. I chose straight copper because I want to polish it and I don't want uh, with soft copper, I think when you straighten it, you're going to get some imperfections. So I think I can get a little bit nicer polish using straight copper. The problem with bending this stuff is even with a semi-decent bender, um, it uh, has some issues um, with flattening a little bit. So I thought I'd try annealing the copper. So I've, I've polished this copper on the lathe down to 2000. Um, I just wanted to take out the rough spots. Um, I'll mar it again as I uh, bend it, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try. And so the first thing you have to do to anneal copper is you have to heat your area where you're going to bend to red hot. So I'm going to use uh, simple propane and uh, I'm start heating my bend area. This this will discolor the polish, but it uh, it definitely won't damage the surface. Um, where I can't just buff it out much easier than starting with a unsanded piece of copper. Here you can see the heat starting to take effect. Copper is kind of tough because it uh, it's really good at moving heat. So you're going to start to see some color. So for copper to uh, quench and soften. You need it to be uh, approximately 700 degrees. Just slowly work the heat into this. Peace. Try to get some color in it now. Work that color up and down. And then quench. Just like that, it's cool to touch. See all the cool colors that came off. It'd actually kind of be a cool finish. Not sure how much of it would rub off and what would stay. Anyway, there it's quenched. And then this is the bending jig I've got. And I just need a simple 90 in this bend. And with very little force, I can come around and roll my 90. I know with this bender I need to go about two or three degrees past. And there you have it. One 90 degree straight copper bend. You can see it's still got a little bit of flare and stuff in it, but uh, Pretty happy with that bend and uh, all polished out. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Not much marring at all from the bender. Um, I did try a couple of these bends before annealing. 
and uh, it takes about twice as much force. So I know that the annealing process of heating the copper and then quenching it in water is working, at least to some degree. I'm no metallurgist, but, uh, but it does work. So yeah, so there's my bend. I'll simply uh, use my uh, pipe cutter to uh, trim it to length, and then uh, once it's trimmed to length and fit up, dry fit up, then I'll come back, polish it, probably have to touch it just up with a little bit of sandpaper, and then to the buffing wheel.